In practice it self check 4.7 even odd, we were asked to write Java code to read integer from a user. And we have to tell in an if else statement if the integer that they input is odd or even. So first we are going to need a scanner to get system input. We will have a scanner and we will call it scan and set it equal to a new scanner and have parentheses and inside of our parentheses use system dot in for system input. After this we need to prompt the user for the number. So we're going to have a system dot out dot print line. And in our print line we will have our double quotes where we will write type a number and also since we want this on the same line we want their input on the same line as our print line we're going to get rid of this ln part so it's just system.out.print so they can write 14 as per this example on the same line now we are going to need an if else statement to tell if this is even or not so we'll write it down here we'll have an if and then we will have an else we need to surround our if in brackets like this and then we could put our else statement right behind it just like this and surround that code in braces like this. In our if statement, we are just going to write if it's an even number. We need to store the system input or whatever the user inputs. We're gonna make it an int and we will call it number and set this equal to scan.nextInt. This will grab the next integer that the user inputs and store it inside of number. So we'll say if number modulus two is equal to zero, that means there is no remainder. So for example, if we have the number 14 and we take the modulus of two, we divide it by two, we get no remainder. That means it's an even. So we're going to do a system dot out dot print line. And in this print line, we are going to have even. If it is odd, it will have a remainder. So it will not be in this if statement. It will be in this else statement. So if it's in this else statement, we can just have a system.out.print line. And instead of having even, we will have odd. We need semicolons at the end of our lines here. And pressing submit, we also need semicolons at the end of these other lines. Once we have all the correct semicolons, we will run the tests and see that we have passed all four tests. So this is the code that will give us the correct answer to this practice it self-check 4.7 problem.